Hey guys, uh, so in this last video I just want to update the attribute table and um, just add a few more fields and populate those fields with um, information we can get from the EXIF data. So I want to add the date the image was taken, the Latin long, and then also um, just the absolute path to uh, to where that image is stored on the, on the computer. Um, so first let's get the easiest thing out of the way and that's just adding the XY data. So um, there's actually already a function out there that um, that is included with ArcPy, and it's called Add XY Management. So this Add XY coordinates um, basically all you do is give it a shape file, Add XY Management, and in features, um, and it takes one parameter, and it is the point features whose XY coordinates will be appended as point X and point Y fields. So I mean that's perfect. <laughs> that's exactly what we're looking for. Um, so the question is, where do we put that in our code, and when do we run it? Um, so we're actually going to do it after we run the shape creator because we that shape file has to exist first of all. So we're going to get rid of it. Um, so after we create it, which is right here, we're just going to do arcpy dot add XY management and we're just going to give it the shape file or yeah out shape file and that should do it that should give us our XY coordinates and the fields so let me run that and make sure that worked that's the easy part huh? so let's make sure this works first and uh, then we'll move on to adding some some more fields so this add XY management it knows to, to make a field called X and make a field called Y um, for the custom ones where we're going to add the time timestamp and um, the location of the image that we're going to have to do that by hand so let's just drag this in and make sure we see the point X and point Y so that's cool that's useful that's good uh, alright but we want more we want another field that says time and another field that says um, local image path or something like that just let's call it image path so we're basically we want the full path here just for reference um, okay and, I mean what's also cool about that is if we have the path of the image we can configure pop-ups here so when we click on it it will show you the image but um, let's work on that later so let's get rid of this now let's take a crack at adding those fields so to add fields in ArcPy, there's this thing called Add Field Management. So Add Field, and it takes a bunch of crap. So I'm just going to copy their example here and throw it in. Same uh, place in the code. It's got to go after the shapefile is created. So um, this schools is in reference to um, either the feature class or the shapefile. So we're going to replace this with with our out shape file. This is the name of the field. So let's go back to the documentation here. So here we go. In table. So we just put in a layer. Field name is parameter two. Parameter three is field type. Then the rest are optional. So we're just going to go back here. Remember, this is the field name, so let's just call this timestamp. And I'm going to make it a text instead of long. And I'm just going to leave these the same for now. And then we'll add one more. And we'll call this image path. All right. So let's make sure that worked. Let's. Um, run this almost all right cool let's check it out Okay, cool. So you see we have a new timestamp field and image path field. 
So now what we need to do is populate every single field with the appropriate data. So if you think about this, we're going to have to be doing this as it's looping through. Okay? Or that's not true, but we're going to have to loop through something. So let me show you what I mean. So we have we already have the shape list, which if you remember down here, we built based on the GPS information. So every time we loop through the image directory, um, the shape list was appended with a longitude in degrees and latitude in degrees. So it's just a big long list like this of coordinates. Well, why don't we add some more information to this list? So we're going to add the full path. And then we're going to add, actually, let's just add full path for now. And um, we have to get, so back into this uh, this part, we need to get the date time. So I was actually playing around with this earlier just to get it ready for this video. But I made this variable called image time. And if we go back to this, um, if you go back to one of these here, there's something called date time. So similarly to how we, we pulled the GPS info, we're going to pull the date time info here, just like this. And date time doesn't, it's only one thing, it doesn't have multiple keys, so that's why we can just say this. And we're going to set that to a variable. And then we're just going to append that here to image time. So now if we run here, oops. All right, come on. Okay, skip. Um, now when we run this, you should see this list down here. Should we have two more items per list. So it's a list of lists, and in those lists, there's going to be four items instead of two. Oh, that's because there's a few leftover files here. Okay, see, so we have the path and then the time. Okay, so that's cool. Um, the next step is actually adding these unique um, pieces of information to each um, to each each record. So to do that, we need to use something called update cursors. And I made a few videos about them earlier in a, in the uh, series, probably like two or three years ago at this point. But um, it's still the same same general method. Um, so what we need to do is we need to loop through this shapefile list again. So if you notice here, we looped through it originally, and we were only using the zero and one values, so only the lat and long values. So now there's there's also a two and a three value, which is the time and the image path. So we're going to loop through again for, just call it 4x in shape list. We're going to um, use the update cursor now. So we can say with arcpy.update cursor. Um, one sec, I have to get the syntax for this. With arcpy.da dot update cursor. Um, in here is what's the shapefile you're interested in, so shapefile. And then in here we're going to give it the fields that you're interested in. So we're interested in timestamp and we're also interested in image path. Alright, and we can just say as our cursor and then we can say for C in our cursor print C dot zero and print C dot one. 
So, a little bit confusing, so sort of just ignore this loop for now. But what we're doing is we're looping through for C and city cursor, that refers to these items here. So we're looping through whatever list of fields we give it. So if we gave it um, more fields, there would be more C's it's looping through. But if we wanted to set timestamp equal to something else, um, we would have to explicitly say that. So let me make sure this is out of here. We're just going to look at what this looks like. So it should just be a bunch, it should just print a bunch of empty numbers because remember we made these fields but there's no values in them right now. See, so it's, it's printing nothing right now, so that's good. So what we want to do is we want to update these values. So C0 is referring to the timestamp. So C0 we want to set equal to um, X which is our shape list. And we want to set this equal to not zero, not one. Um, I forget. So not zero, not one, not two. We want it to be three. So item three. Okay. And then C1 is equal to X4. So if we do that, we only need to do one more thing, and that is to actually update the row. And to do that, you just say our cursor dot update row. And what row do we want to update? We want to update C. All right. Uh, with any luck, this should work. So let me make sure this is cleared out, and we'll run this and we'll see what we get. Next out of range. Hmm. All right, this video is getting a little bit long, so I'm gonna pause this and troubleshoot this and then we will uh, pick it back up.